All right, Swiddle, 50 evolving skies. Eventually, someday, we will have someone else who will be also be breaking. But I want to make sure that it's a very, 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 very entertaining person. And not somebody just going, you know, Charizard, Moltres, oh, Venusaur. You know what I'm saying? I'll still be doing my stuff, but on days that I'm, that I'm like, working or off, like, they'll be breaking. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up, Frenzy? What's going on, bro? You getting any cards ran over by a forklift lately? <laughs> I still can't believe that. You gotta be kidding me, dude. They they actually just decided to use your ghost rare as a, as a ramp. Yeah, his ghost rare got ran over by a forklift. And it's not like you didn't pack well, Frenzy. Like, you packed just how I would pack. You know what I'm saying? That's just unlucky, bro. Did you get your money back? You better have. Dude, look at this. That's a tire track, dude. Look at that. That is actually a forklift tire track. You guys can't tell me that's not a tire track. Like. I don't know. Like there's no, there's no argument. He, I mean, he had it insured. So there's no argument there. What are they going to say? Hey, that's not a tire track. Yeah, it is. It's literally the perfect size of a tire track for a forklift. Is there any compensation? There better be. He still wants to grade it. <laughs> I think it'll be, it's one of those things where you just grade it anyways, because it's a story behind it. Like, hey guys, look at, I got my, uh, my uh, Black Luster Soldier Ghost Rare. Um, you know, that got ran over by a U USPS driver. Graded Schmiele. Kind of like me getting my uh, nine tails, having a grader at PSA, putting a putting a fingernail mark into my nine tails, and then giving it a five. Like, hey, you want a five or authentic schmiele? Not gonna lie, I'd be fuming. He's an adult though; he understands. Like, it's like, what are you gonna do though? But do you guys see what I'm saying though? Why I never insure my stuff? Because here's why. He's gonna go to try to collect insurance on that card and he's gonna have to prove that the card was in good condition. Like they're gonna say, uh, how do we know it wasn't already like that and you just drove over it with a car and uh, just to try to get us to replace it. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, insurance companies are fucking fraudulent, man. Yeah, like, I did I not send you the pictures, Frenzy? That's the problem though, dude. Like, that's why when it comes to collectibles, I never insure collectibles because it's, you're gonna spend more money on insurance than you are actually losing items or, or getting them damaged. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's such an unfortunate thing. But you'll save more money just in the loss whenever something gets damaged than you will actually paying insurance and having nothing happen. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'll definitely check it out, Frenzy. Um, I'm yeah. So it's eight ten, guys. I'm gonna close down the stream, or not the stream, but the uh, store. Okay. Man, it ha it's been a long time since I had to close the shop this early. I appreciate all the support, guys. Seriously, you guys are the best. Yeah, I got you, Frenzy. It's all good, bro. I just don't. I don't want to be here all night. Because if I'm here, like, I still have MNT stuff to do, man. So, I, I don't know if I told you this. So, our submission's so big that now when I'm trying to add cards on MNT's website, it's, it's like, dying. Like, I thought it was my, my laptop. Not my laptop, bro. Like, their website is, like, actually dying. From how many cards you guys are sending in. I want you guys to think about that for a second. You guys are actually killing MNT's site. They need to upscale, bro, because we out here about, about, about to be slinging 500 cards a month, dude.
Yeah, for sure, dork. It's crazy. And I'm not even to the stores or Megan's cards yet. I'm still on mine. And I'm, I'm, I'm on like card like 200 out of like 500 cards. Not even halfway and I've been working on it for like 20 hours. It's crazy, man. All right, we got Trevenant VMAX. I, I got to figure out a way um, to, uh, I, like, again, um, if there's some way that I can I can basically transfer from a spreadsheet to MNT site, and like, I don't know how I could do that, but. Mr. Viking Rage, thank you for the two months. Hey, there we go. Frostlass. Beautiful. Frostlass. Gold card looking great. All right. Very good. A little off center. We'll take it. Very nice. Very nice. Any Umbreon VMAXs? Uh, what? No, just the Rayquaza. We pulled the Rayquaza and the Rayquaza alternate art from Lauren. Like in like 10 packs. That shit was crazy. Probably less than that. It's probably like five packs. But no Umbreon yet. We also haven't opened very much either because uh, we were stuck on Yuki's massive order. Yo, thank you so much for the two months, Mr. Viking Rage. Much love, buddy. All right, evil. Come on, come on. You saw it? Yeah, it's crazy. So lucky. I want, I want it. I don't pull freaking that shit, dude. I did get the leafy on though, so I'm happy about it. I like the Umbreon the most though. I want the Umbi. All right, Metachan. Meg, remember when you pulled the hyper rare Lugia and you were just like, "Hey, like, bro, that's the chase in the set." And then you're just like, oh my God. <laughs> Bro, her brain was just buttered. <sighs> All right. She was just like, hey. Bruh, exposing me. Dude, was your, was your brain fried that day or what? Your brain was literally just Swiss cheese. <laughs> oh, what's this? Ah, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The Dragonite! The sleepy boy! He's so sleepy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go! <laughs> You're just like, hey! I want to see them long streams from you again, Meg. That stream last night, that was fire. That was very good. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for you. That you were so, so goddamn busy. That was very nice. You're freaking chuck full of orders. Feels good, man. It's gonna get crazy in the winter time, guys. This is the this is the calm before the storm. People are starting to settle down a little bit from summer. Collectibles always spike in the winter, always. Summer's collectibles are usually not worth as much because there's less people collecting. But people will, winter will hit, people will get bored and they'll be like, I want to collect some cards. And I'm going to be like, I know, I, me too. Your brain was ducking fried. Dude, I hate when my phone autocorrects to ducking, dude. It's literally like, what is ducking? Like, duck these nuts, you know? She went beast mode. It was good to see.
Dude. Listen. Listen. Fuck that Pokemon. Fuck that Pokemon. Fuck you, Crustle. God damn, dude. Unite has literally made me hate Pokemon. Like, there's certain Pokemon that I just hate now. Like, that motherfucker is so OP, dude. And he got buffed. Like, he was already OP, but people weren't playing him because there was just a better option, and now he's broken. Feels good, man. I hate Crustle, bro. Yeah, I remember that day, dude, Megan's just sitting by, it was a slow day at the shop. Megan's just sitting behind the cash register playing Unite. And she's just like, bro, this Crustle is just shitting on me, bro. Like, just raging about it. And I was like, dude, like, fucking Crustle? Like, dude, fucking shit-ass Pokemon. Like, are you, like, like, what are you talking about? I get home, and I'm just getting fucking bodied by Crustle. Just getting absolutely fucking bodied. I was like, dude, fucking Megan's right. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, dude, what the? I'm like, Crustle's OP. You just don't, you wouldn't expect that stupid Pokemon to just be fucking bopping motherfuckers, but that X scissor move, OP, dude. Especially if you hit them into a wall. Did you guys know if you hit them into a wall, it does like mass damage? Crustle's OP in Pogo as well, really? Why is his order orange? Because he requested for me to burn all his cards to sacrifice them to the to Satan. So I had to make sure to remember that. You guys want to know actually what happened? So if you guys ever wonder, like, you ever sit there and wonder, like, kind of what happens? So, so since I know, because I I see the back end. What happened was, the, the way it works is when we put in inventory, it's all manual, right? So we look at, like, hey, we have six boxes of this. So let's put six boxes on the website. So what happened was Kristen put the boxes on the website, and I brought one in to break it in the store. So that's actually what happened, why we oversold by one box. Because I, it was my fault. I brought a box in and didn't remove it from the inventory. So in case you guys are ever wondering why things are like that sometimes. It's a, it was actually on me, not her. So I'm, so, I'm sorry about that, dork. That's exactly what happened, in case you were wondering. Alright, we got Trum Not Me. She even texted me saying, don't let Drew open it. Was that... That was before... That was before the uh, she put them up, though, I thought. Yeah. And then she, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she's like, she's like peeping tomming us on the, on the camera. She's like, I see you guys. I see you crackheads. Dude, we're all crackheads. The whole reason we got into this business, bro. Like, we were just freaking just, just, oh, I need my fix. After I was, I opened the two booster boxes of, of Evolving Skies. And I was like, I was like going like this. I was like. And, and, uh, and, and one of our customers is like, you itching, bro? <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like, yeah, I think so. You got that Pokemon fix? You know what I'm saying? Got that fix. Butter Biden. <clears throat> That's what I, whenever, whenever I, I, sometimes Kristen will get out of the shower and she'll be laying in the bed and I'll just go over and I'll just be like. <sighs> and she just goes, get the fuck away from me, Biden. I 
think the packs feel cheap slash loose? Yes. Yes, sir. You're talking about the Pokemon packs? Absolutely. They have been they have been cheaping out more and more. 100%. It, you know, it's funny. I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah. But Champion's path? So this, this is from first print, I'm pretty sure. You can just feel the difference. It's insane. Like, this is smooth and, like, nice quality. And these are, like, crinkled and, like, just loose and, like, yeah, man. Yeah, the quality has gone down on every single part of it. Which is, uh, it, it, it's weird because, like, you would think that it'd be the opposite because they're making more money, right? But, I don't know. You would think they're making more money, but maybe they aren't. Maybe it's, I, I think, I think the secondary market's getting rich, not Pokemon Company. I don't know. The card quality doesn't seem that bad though, to be fair. It's more of the, I think it depends, you know what? I think it depends on um, which factories they get made in. Cause I remember we used to, remember when we had two Shining Fates packs right next to each other and one was like darker and more vibrant and the other one was like a light, like a more faded color. And they were both from distributors, so I knew they were, they were, there was nothing weird with it. But I also know that different, like different factories have different printers, so. And that's, I learned that a lot about like vintage as well, if you guys don't know this. So different factories use different materials and because of that, and they have different like temperatures and weights and they do things differently and they store things differently. So sometimes um, cards will actually be a little heavier or lighter. And because of that, you actually can't tell if a vintage pack is light or heavy because people always say, oh, heavy pack, blah, blah, blah. And then you'll see people, this wasn't a heavy pack, blah, blah, blah. And the reason for that is because if you don't have every single booster, po booster pack from the box and you weigh them all, you don't know which is heavy and which is light because certain packs will be heavier than others. That doesn't mean they have a hollow. It's all relevance to the other packs that are in the box. So that's why when I, I always tell people to be careful buying uh, packs online, because think about it like this. This person could have a really heavy print where say like, um, you know, the, the, the hollows are like 21.25. And then the non hollows are like 20.8, like around there, right? Well, some people, 20.8 could mean a hollow from certain prints. And so people will actually sell that as a heavy pack. And it won't actually be a heavy pack. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you got to be careful with that because different factories uh, have different, different materials and different weights. So. All right, we got Umbreon V. Very nice. Let's keep it going. So you gotta be careful with that, guys. Don't ever listen to someone who says heavy pack. Now, unless they're breaking the box and selling the packs individually and weighing them all, then you know. And even then, there's some uncertainty as well. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was tweaking because compared to the other packs, I was like, uh, are these fake? Nah, you'll tell immediately when they're fake. You want to know why? So when they're fake, you can tell because um, most of the fakes that I've seen are very discolored, like very discolored. Like you can be like, that doesn't look right. And then sometimes uh, they'll even have the ridges like the Yu-Gi-Oh packs. You see this? If you ever see this on a Pokemon card, it's fake, 100%, those ridges. There are, I've seen fake Pokemon cards that have the ridges on the top. Yeah, those are, those, those are, those are Omega fake, dude. Omega fake. And fake cards, fake packs, they don't look, they don't look, first of all, they like, they look a little faded, but also the coloring's wrong. The coloring's very wrong on fake packs. It's very easy to tell if a pack is fake. You guys will just tell right off the rip. You'll be like, dude, that don't look right.
Oh, really, Dark? I'm sorry, bud. Yeah. I, I mean, I was honest with you about what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm dead honest with you. We open, we crack, we literally rip your box in the store. It makes you feel better. There's no Uber rare. Where are you from again? I'm from Massachusetts. I grew up in Massachusetts. I uh, lived there for 23 years, and then I moved to Maryland to be with Kristen. So I live in Maryland now, but I'm from Mass. I grew up in Mass. I'm a Mass hole at heart. Uh-oh, what's this? Hey, Volcarona V Full Art. Nice. Where's my bug lovers at? All right, very good. Uh, Vivid was so badly printed with the packs this last time. Yeah, the cards, the cards were decent quality. It was the packs. Yeah, the, the actual quality of the outside of the packs were very bad. I agree. They were like, it, they weren't even on right. Like this part, this part that you pull was super skinny. Remember that? It was like, it like started, like the seal was like here. And then like, so, so what happened was because the seal was like that, like there was more room on this. So it was like super loose. Yeah. I don't know, their pack, their pack machine freaking malfunction, bro. Fix that shit, Stevie. And then we moved here to be with Drew and Kristen Keck W. Yes, sir. You regret it, Meg? You regret it? Or is there no regrets? I tried telling you guys the humidity here is ass. You guys were like, bro, we live in Florida, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, the freaking humidity in Florida is horrible, bro. And then Brand when Brandon went back to Florida last week, he said that it felt like Arizona getting off the plane in Florida. That's how bad it is in Maryland. I, I don't think you guys realize how bad the humidity is here. The humidity is fucking horrid, dude. 